learn drum beats as fast as possible, then learning to read drum sheet music is one of the quickest ways to do it. And at first it can sound intimidating having to learn to read drum sheet music, uh, but I'm going to try and teach you in under five minutes how to read it. It's actually really simple and straightforward, and by the end of this video you have a basic understanding of how to read drum music, and I'll provide some links to some more advanced videos if you want to take it further. So the beat that you can see on screen here is from the Arctic Monkeys song, I Wanna Be Yours. It sounds like this. So if you were to count this beat out loud, you would count it like this. One, two, and three, four. How did I know that was the correct way to count out that beat? and that that was the correct rhythm. Well, it's all got to do with these sticks and bridges. When you see a note, which is just a black circle with a long stick, either pointing up or down, that note is worth one beat of music. So if I counted one, two, three, four, that would be four beats of music, and I could use four of these notes with long sticks. These notes are called crotchets. But if I want to go faster, if I want to put notes in between beats, then I have to add a little bridge. And this bridge is known as a quaver, and that makes a note worth half a beat. So these notes with the long sticks are worth one beat. These notes with the bridges are worth half a beat. So when I count them out loud, we start on beat one because that's at the start. So if I count this, one, that's a whole beat. Then we move to beat two, two, but because this is uh, this has a bridge and it's known as a quaver, it's only worth half a beat. So the next thing that I say is and rather than beat three, because this is only worth half a beat. So it goes like this, one, two, and three three, and then this is worth a whole beat again, so then we go to four. So if I count it all out, it goes one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Now, if I wanted to put a quaver in somewhere else, I could make this into a quaver and add another quaver here, and then it would sound like this. One, two, and three, for and. So you can think of the quavers as adding ands to things and the crotchets uh, as staying on the numbers normally. So that's a good way to think about it just to keep it really simple for now. The thing you have to know about the beat is what drums you're going to be playing. And there are two drums in this particular example. The bass drum sits on the bottom line. Any note that you see on the bottom line here is going to be a bass drum. Any note that you see sitting two spaces down from the top is going to be a snare drum. You play the bass drum with your right foot and the snare drum with your left hand. So this would go right foot, left hand, right foot, right foot, left hand. For the count of one, two, and three, four. So as a final little challenge for you before I sign off this video, I want to just edit this beat slightly. So what I'm going to do is just add some extra quavers in. And I want you to write in the comments what the new count would be for this new drum beat that I've just written out here. Uh, before you try out the Arctic Monkeys song, uh, have a look at our next video uh, which will add the symbols to the Arctic Monkeys drum beat and will also widen your knowledge of drum sheet music by learning how to add symbols into your music. Uh, if you could subscribe we'd really appreciate it and uh, I will attach links to more advanced drum sheet music information in the description below as well as uh, a link to sign up to our 30 days of drum beats course which teaches you how to learn 30 drum beats in 30 days.